Good morning, everyone. At 8, 10 in the morning on this Thursday. It should be an all right day out there. It'll be very nice on this first day, year of the monkey, Gung Hei Fat Choi, to everybody who's celebrating Chinese New Year's this morning. We are joined by a special guest who's going to give us some insights into some of the special treats that you can enjoy traditionally on Chinese New Year's. We are joined by Yu Tai Liao. Good morning, Yu Tai. How are you this morning, Gung Hei Fat Choi? Good, good, good. Uh, Xin Nian Kuai Le. Thank you very much. What right. does that mean? Uh, Happy New Year in Mandarin. Excellent. Well, right thank on. you very much. We actually had a discussion about the differences between Cantonese and Mandarin this morning in our office. Now, right. we're going to talk about some traditional food today. That's right. Uh, you know, Chinese New Year is a very big deal for us. It's like Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving, oh, all rolled into rolled one. Into one. And um, this is the 4,701st Chinese New Year. So we had a lot of <laughs> practice at this. <laughs> and so, thusly, we don't just eat the food. We gotta, they all have little stories, have little symbolism. All right, beautiful. And we're going to do a little bit of that today. All right, well, let's talk about some of these. Where do you want to start? I'll let you lead, the, lead the charge today. Let's start with uh, dumplings. Okay, dumplings? Oh, let's talk about money. Okay, money? Oh. Because, okay. you know, we like money. <laughs> you tell you, I like talking yeah. about money as well. You know, well, my mom says it's not just about money in the nice cars. It's about financial well-being. So that's, <laughs> that's my concern, my mom always says. So to start with money, uh, we're going to start with dumplings. Because, yeah. you see, dumplings in Chinese uh, are called yuan, uh, yuan bao, which sounds like uh, money and, and, and treasures. Uh, and you notice that we have them shaped often very much like a traditional Chinese gold nugget. Okay, there we go. So nice. they look like money, they sound like money, and they taste like... We'll get back to that. Okay. Um, <laughs> they taste so good. They're very like easy. Dumplings. You take some ground pork, some nice fatty ground pork, some chives, some soy sauce, some vinegar, some... Uh, Chives and salts and recipes online, studytv.com. Okay, nice and easy. And you, you, yeah, you, you wrap together. it up in the dumpling wrappers, put them in the pot of boiling water until they bubble until they up. Bubble up and away you go. And then, and then there you go. And uh, okay. it's a very beautiful thing. Uh, are there things that go before others? Like, is there a traditional sort of pecking order or lineup in the way the food would be served, or is it? Not in my family. Food? We just Not go nuts. <laughs> we just go. Okay, yeah. there's the dumplings. Now, should we move on to the fish? Uh, before we move on to the fish, okay. you know, I just say that they look like money, they sound like money, yeah. and they actually could taste like money because traditionally we hide a coin in one of the dumplings. Oh, you're kidding. And if you, if you get the dumpling with the coin and you don't choke, and you don't die of some <laughs> disease from the dirty coin, then you have very good financial fortune for that year. Very nice. Did you put a coin in one of these today? Uh, well, I don't know. You guys have to find All out. All right, well, we'll find <laughs> out later on, and I bet Grant, well, we right. won't know if Grant's camera, he'll just swallow it whole. All right. Uh, now can we talk about the fish? Right. Now the fish also has some symbolic uh, reasoning to it as well. Tell Absolutely, you see. Now that we've got the money, <laughs> we want more of it. So right. we want extra abundance of the money. So you always, always, always in the Chinese New Year's uh, feast have fish. Okay. Because fish in Chinese, yu, sounds like extra. Okay. So, so, so you want extra. Right. And another tradition with the fish is that not only do you have fish, but you never finish the fish. Why? Because you want leftovers or extras of the Extra. extra. Oh, That's so you right. want extra, extra. Yeah, we like money. Read you know? all about it. I like that. <laughs> uh, now, would you get the whole fish? Is that the tradition, is, is to get a whole fish and, and cook it that right. way? Right, because it looks better. And, and, and um, let me tell you a little bit about this fish. Um, steaming a fish is really easy. All you have to do is some marinade and, some, and just steam it real and quick. Just a big steamer. Right. Okay. Um, and if you want to make... There's two things you want to make sure to a good steamed fish is, A, want to make sure the fish is as fresh as possible. Okay. Make sure it's swimming when you still get it. <laughs> okay. And, and, and have it cooked an hour after it stops swimming. Okay. And, and two, you want to make sure the insides are real clean. Of clean course, it once, yes. clean it twice, clean it three times. Okay. And stuff it full of ginger. That's the third, third Ooh, one. Ooh, stuff it full of ginger. Stuff oh, it full of ginger. Be very good. Yeah. I like that. All right, very nice. So fresh fish, uh, yeah. buy it swimming and cook it within an hour of killing it. That's and right. And make sure you clean it really well. Okay, and what else do we have here? All right, lastly, so we got money, we got extra money, and now we want promotions. Okay. But at our job, so we have something called a nian gao, which is a rice cake. Now, nian gao sounds like every year rice higher. So every year with a promotion. An abundance. And, right. Okay, nice. Okay, good. Now, how do you prepare this? And what is it? It's this like... is, well, this is what it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like before you cook it. It's yeah. made from glutinous rice and red beans. You can get it at TNT supermarkets or okay. Chinese markets. And all you have to do is uh, dip it in some egg wash and then pan fry it. Okay. And that's it. Very nice. That sounds nice and simple, and that would serve as dessert. Now, I, I apologize. We don't have any chopsticks here. We all forgot no, about it. What should I put on this? Is this dipping for this? 
Um, the dipping could be for that, but today the dumpling is so good, you should just eat it with chili okay. oil. Okay, oh, lay some on me there. Okay, Yutai, <laughs> thank you so much. Always a real pleasure to All see right, you. Awesome. You do a great job. Uh, Yutai is an online columnist. If you want to find the recipes that he's prepared today, you can go to citytv.com and you'll find out a little more about Yutai as well. We're going to take a, or no, we're going to throw it over to Mark for the day's headlines, and I am going to eat a dumpling. <laughs> Happy right. New Year.